Jesus, we come before you right now thanking you for another day to be gathered together in your midst. We thank you, Lord, for this day that we come together to worship you, magnify you, and adore you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. We thank you for once again coming to gather together. Now, um, on Wednesday, we had a wonderful Bible study, and mm -hmm. our youth had picked out um, um, the book of Acts that they wanted to study. And so I couldn't get that out of my spirit, and I was praying about where to go today, and the Lord carried me back to the book of Acts. And somebody asked me, on Wednesday, I ain't calling no names, but their initials are Tammy McLeod. Mm. Are you going to preach on Acts? I says, I don't know. And so that <laughs> was put in my spirit. And so um, that's where we're going today. We're going to go to Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. So um, I figured uh, since our youth wanted to do that, uh, we're going to kind of uh, cover your face. I'm talking to you, man. Um, <laughs> we're going to go back to Acts, and I figured that would uh, solidify that somewhat for them. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't know whether this is going to be a series or not. Uh, uh, that the verdict is still out. Uh, the Lord hasn't said anything on it, but we're going to look at um, one through eight today. Um, I don't know what version you're looking at, but right now I've got it in the King James. Um, mm -hmm. That's what's on my, my iPad and in my church Bible. Church. Yeah. Church. In my church Bible. Church Bible. All right. <laughs> and it says, The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach, until the day which he was taken up after that he had that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion many infallible proofs being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which saith he, Ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. not many days hence. Mm -hmm. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times nor or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. 
And my topic this morning is you can't move without power. Oh, amen. 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 All right. And as I mentioned, I was moved by the fact that our teens, um, <coughs> the, our teenage boys had wanted to study the book of Acts. And the Lord began to give me some illustrations or examples of how to make the power of the Holy Ghost vivid. Mm. All right. And as I mentioned before, I see things in a very uh, visual way. I'm not looking at our deacon this morning. You know, I'm, I don't have time to lose it. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got things to do, you know. And so, um, so I began to see some things in a very visual way, and see, and I learned by looking using analogies if I can if I if, if I can find a hook to hang it on I can learn it okay so it is important to know that Christ is the source of our being and the scripture tells us without him we can do nothing in John chapter 15 verse 5 second part uh, we cannot follow Christ under our own power Amen. Amen. And you know, and I, I know today there are a lot of places that say, you know, uh, that's not for today. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, and I, I can't, I can't fathom that. You know, Amen. how any church can function without the power mm. of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Mm. You know, uh, I, I just can't get that. You know, uh, that's like trying to be a carpenter and you don't have a saw or a hammer Amen. or some nails. Amen. I don't get it. Yeah. You know, or uh, Sister Dolly and I used to drive buses together and then she went to the subway. How can you drive a bus and you don't have a bus? Amen. How can you operate a subway and you don't have a subway car to operate? Mm -hmm. All right. Those are things that just don't make sense. You know, how can you be a police officer and you don't have the authority to function as a police person? There you go. Oh, that authority. makes authority. no sense there you go. to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we cannot operate and we cannot follow Christ under our own power. Jesus did a detailed explanation in the Gospel of John of where our power would come from and what that power would do through us, for us, and in us. And I didn't see where it would be cut off at any given time. Amen. Amen. My Bible tells me that Jesus Christ is the today, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So therefore, the tenets that were in the scripture then are the same tenets that are in the scripture for today. Yes, I said it, and I didn't this, 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 stutter. All right. Over the years, the church has wanted to water it down or said it's not for today, it was only to jumpstart the church, or we just don't need that now. And that's just not possible. I saw some time ago, uh, somebody said, you know, do we need the Holy Ghost today? Mm -hmm. And I saw uh, somebody else put down there, says, I need the Holy Ghost just to go to Walmart. Amen. Amen. All right? Amen. And with all the recent things that's happened, yeah. yes, you surely need the Holy Ghost <laughs> yeah. to go to Walmart right. or any other mark. Amen. You need the Holy Ghost just to get up out of your bed in the yep. morning. Amen. The Bible tells us that Jesus Christ, as I mentioned, is the same yesterday, today, and Amen. forever. God said, I am the Lord and I change not. not. So why would his Holy Ghost change? It does not. All power has a source. All right? Now, if, if, if you look at these, these lights here, all right, this light just doesn't come on by itself. 
It has a switch. There's a bulb. It's plugged into the wall. All right. But just because it plugs into the wall doesn't mean there's going to be light. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. There has to be something going into the wires that makes the light work. There has to be something plugged to the house that gives the lights power. There has to be something coming from the pole to the house that gives the lights power. There has to be something that's generated through the wires that gives the lights power. Amen. There has to be a power source that is generated. And you know what? I can't see it. But if I touch the positive and the negative, I'm sure going to feel it. Amen to that. Somebody I got an amen already. All right. Now, uh, Somebody's been asking, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? But before I get to the bag, I'm going to talk about something. I've got a little something in my pocket. And, and, and you know, uh, I walked out of my house this morning. And if I didn't have this in my pocket, all right, I wouldn't be able to get here. Now, this is one of these new fangle dangle things, all right? that I can just walk out the house and walk over to the vehicle and I just touched the door and the door unlocked. I didn't have to put anything in and turn the lock. All I had to do was touch the door and it opened because I had the key in my pocket. Oh, there you go. All right? Yep. And all I had to do is get in the car, put my foot on the brake, and push a button, and the car started up. Push my finger on a little button, and the car started up. Now, if I did not have that in my pocket, I could push that button all day long, and they ain't going to do nothing. This key gave me the authority. Authority uh -oh. to start that car. That's where the power was. It was because I had the key which gave me the authority. Now, I'm going over here to my bag. Lord have mercy. Okay, now you will find out what's in the bag. All right. Now, y'all know my hobby. Oh, let me get this right now. I'm going to get all my visual aids. Wrong sleeve. All my visual aids. Wow, train. Yes. I'm going to get all my visual aids out. All right. Okay. This is a caboose. Yep. Caboose? That's a caboose. I know. That's the end of a train. This is a boxcar. Yep, I know it was. All right. Now, I didn't bring track because I figured we got, we're got short on time because we got things to do, places to go, and all like that. I'm not going into that on camera because it ain't nobody's business but ours. All right, this is called a tank car. All right, I use this in pre-K a lot, you know, and the kids love it. Okay, now this could be considered as a train. All right? Oh. That's considered a train. However, oh, you got it. It ain't, gonna it ain't going nowhere. No. Because it don't have no power. It it's not it. going anywhere because there's no power source to move it. Mm -hmm. It yep. needs some dunimus. That's Greek for power. So, in order for it to move, <laughs> Lord have mercy, it's got to have some power. All right. This is part of the power. Yes, sir. This is the fuel. Yes, sir. All right? And the fuel for our power in the Holy Ghost is our praise. Because the Lord inhabits the praise of his people. Oh, I got everything all wrapped up in here. But I'm going to pull it out. All right? So, see, because most of this stuff I've had since I was younger than y'all. All right? So, There's the... all right, 
This is the power source. All right, was my praise. This is the dunamis, the power. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, my praise hooked up to the power source is what gives this power. So if I hook this up to that, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, the devil trying to wreck my train. He's a liar. Amen. And the of it. So if I hooked all of that up together, if I hook the power up to my praise and hook that all up together, then I can run this race Amen. with Amen. patience. Amen. And you see, that's the way the Holy Ghost does with us. We can't do anything unless we have the Holy Ghost dwelling in us. Yes, Amen. Amen. when we get saved, it's because the Holy Ghost causes us to call on the Lord. Amen. Amen. However, we need Him indwelling Amen. in us Amen. to do His work. That's right. We need Amen. Him indwelling in us to pull the load for His glory. We need Him indwelling in us to do His will. You can't function on your own. Mm -hmm. no, no, can't no. do it. Amen. There is nothing you can do without the Lord. The scripture tells us without Him we can do nothing. Our power source to carry out His will is through Him and through the Holy Ghost. And people like to call the Holy Ghost an it. He is the third person Amen. in the Godhead. Amen. He is not an it. No. He is the person. Amen. He is the one who comes and meets us in the middle of the night yes. and tells us when we are weeping and reminds us that our weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. He is the person that lets us know in the time of trouble he shall hide us in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide us. He is the one that lets us know when trouble comes, he will bring us out. He is the one that lets us know when the enemy comes against us like a flood, he will raise a standard against Against him. Amen. He is the one that lets us know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Amen. He is the one that lets us know that everything that Jesus told us, he Amen. will bring it to our remembrance. When we forget it, he prompts our memory yes. and brings it back Amen. to the surface Amen. and Amen. gives us the strength to run on a little while longer for Amen. his glory. Amen. I don't care what anybody says. It's just as much for today yes. as it was yes. in the early church. Yes. He's yes. very much alive and well and living down in our spirit. Yes. He is the one that still heals like he did in the early church. He yes. is the one that still raises from sick beds. Yes. He is the one that still provides miracles yep. when no one thinks miracles can be done. Yes. That is the God that I serve. Yes. Amen. And his power is still alive Amen. and well and living in me. Amen. 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 Okay. Right. 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 Let us pray. Father God, we come before you thanking you for your Holy Ghost power. Yes. Thank you that he dwells in us who believe in you. Though the world may say it is not for today, we know because of how you dwell in us that you are very much for today and that you cause us still to speak with new tongues. Amen. You Amen. still give us prophetic words. Amen. You still anoint us with word of knowledge. Amen just like you did in days of old. Amen. You didn't water anything down. No. You didn't discount anything. It's very much alive and well in us today. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.